Hello and welcome back to RC Icons. So in today's episode, we need to figure out what we're going to do with the Javelin. So I built this car when I was away camping with my family. I did a camper build. Um, that video is on the channel. And um, when we last left the car, we've got the Riri wheels and tires on there. We've got the yellow cage on there. We need to do the driver figure. We need to do the decals, and we need to we need to figure out what we're gonna do with this car. So I've got some options, but I'm really kind of um, lost as far as where I want to take the car. So I've got Marwan OT30s. I've got original OT30s. I've got the black wheels. I've got the white wheels and I've got a carbon fiber chassis, not chassis, but a carbon fiber um, upgrade kit for it from extra speed. Now, I think I need to start with decals to be completely honest. So when I look at this car, I like the silver, but if the silver stays, the silver wheels absolutely have to stay. I think if I go to the black wheels, I need to go to carbon fiber, which means completely disassembling the car. Now, I kind of need to disassemble part of the car anyways, because I need to fix that front diff. One of the diff cups wasn't drilled, so um, it's not receiving a pin, which actually keeps the diff cup in the diff and it also locates the diff gear so right now if I turn one of the front tires you can see the other one might turn a little bit from friction but it's not turning it the way it, it the way it should now if I turn a rear tire because of the chain guard everything is going to turn but typically one will turn one way and the other one will turn the other way right well when I do that in the front nothing happens because that diff cup is not locked in so and then I can't I'll run the car with these tires on it but I can't keep the car like that because those re retires are just way too fat um, the, the rears aren't bad but they, it looks ridiculous in the front and I can't just change one set of tires I think that's gonna look stupid because the spikes are way more aggressive on the OT30s. So I need to change all four. So I'm fine, and I'm fine with changing all four. I think the OT30s are a given. It's, it's a matter of whether or not I take this thing and stealth it out by going all black or if I leave the silver. And then the other dilemma is if I do go all black, I'm basically copying Glenn. Um, not to say that that's a bad thing. I sent Glenn everything for his car. <laughs> I, I, I honestly think, you know what, I think I'm keeping it silver. I'm looking at the car now, and I like the way that the silver looks um, with the yellow. If I were to go, if I was to black it out with all the carbon, I think that, I think that it could potentially look very bumblebee-ish. Not that that's not a bad thing. So yeah, let's do that. We're going to do this. We're going to put the OT30 tires on. We're going to leave the car alone. We're going to decal it up. Um, I'd like to get a motor in this car along with the electronic speed control so that we can run it. But when we run it, we're not going to run it on the OT30s. We're going to run it with the with the RiRi tires. So it's going to be a lot of swapping tires back and forth, but it is what it is. Um, so let me bring the camera over. Or I'll at least show you what we have for the car, and we'll get started with the decals. All right. So I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking this, but either way. So what do we have? We've got driver decals, driver decals. They give you options of either going black or white on um the decals themselves and i think i think i'm going to stray away from the white and i'm going to go with black um which means not using the wing decal so 
I'm thinking about um, putting Kyosho Racing Team instead of it being down here at the bottom, putting it across the back and doing the off road javelin. This off road javelin across the, the front of the wing. And then maybe using a couple of the other black javelins on the wing sides. Potentially. Um, because those decals are not really slated for anything. Now, obviously, I've got I've got like three of these decal sheets because I got the different I have the different uh, colored cages. So I may just have to kind of get started. Um, I may put so I was trying to stay away from the red. I definitely don't want the white javelin under the super buggy. I, I think I'm fine with the super buggy part, but maybe I would take those javelins off and put. Um, the black javelins in their place these ones so it would say super buggy and red with the black javelin underneath it on the wing sides and just totally staying away from the white because I think the white will just disappear on the yellow cage and it's already got like that black look so I think if I stick with black and red um, it'll it'll look better so, so yeah, so original OT30 tires. Now, I'm probably not going to stick original OT30s. I've got a full set here. I, I just happened to break them out. I'm not going to stick those on a Riri car. So, I'll just use the Marwan ones, which are great anyways. If I was doing the white wheels, if I was going to do the white wheels, I would probably go with the white decals. Um, but I think I'm going to stick with... The black decals and then I'll try the black wheels and see how they look but I that it may look all right but I'm thinking silver tire writing um, so go silver tire writing with the silver wheels so we'll have to play with it I think it's one of those where we're gonna have to play with it a little bit and it's gonna have to kind of morph on its own as we're doing this so uh, where to start I think I'm gonna leave the car together um, to decal it. I think that's probably the easiest thing to do So let me uh, get started here This is the carbon kit by the way and just in case you were wondering So this is the extra speed carbon kit and it's for the 2016 Optima Riri, but obviously it fits the Javelin also fits the Turbo Optima Um Turbo Optim is all gold though, so why would you change it? It looks so good as it is. So it does have the shock towers in it. It's got the front bracket. So it does, it's just like 10 pieces of carbon in here. Um, and I bet it would look killer. But uh, I think it's going to, I think I think with the yellow, it's going to look fine with the silver. So I'm going to leave that alone for now. And uh, just start decaling with uh, black decals. And we'll just kind of... I'll bring you back as I have things to show you. So that's what we're going to do. See you in a second. All right, so I figured I would bring you back. I haven't done anything with the driver yet. I'm trying to decide whether I want to paint it or just use the decals. Um, so I decaled the car and it went really fast. <laughs> <laughs> almost too fast um, but I like it so I did the red the red uh, super buggy and black javelin on the wing so the wing itself I did Kyosho racing team off-road racer and then the javelin uh, super racing buggy on the top I think that looks good without the uh, without the white and then I put a sand super on the, on the top metal, just in black. I had to actually cut that decal into a couple of pieces to make it fit. And then I did the black writing on the cages. I kept every, I didn't put anything on the lower cages. It might want something down there, but um, I would have to tear into another decal sheet because there's no small letters left. There's one four-wheel drive 
in black that would work, but I don't have a second one. So I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll put that on. We'll see. And then on the front, the four wheel drive sand super. I put the yellow championship Grand Prix sticker on the metal on the front because it needed something. And then I did a the small a small javelin down at, on the nose. So I didn't put any of the red Kyosho stickers on because I didn't want the white letters. Um, and I didn't put the vintage series stickers on just because I, I didn't want any white. So if you look at the decals that are left, you know, I could potentially put the off-road on the back of the wing up top of the roof. That might fit there. But I would have to cut it off of that 209. Some of these stickers I actually cut off of. Like I had to cut the white javelins off of the red part. And then put the black ones on underneath. And yeah, like I said, I might... Well, let's try it. Let's take off this four-wheel drive. Because I've got a ton of these decal sheets. Maybe we just put one down here. Um, so these decals on the Riri sheets are pre-cut. And I don't typically like pre-cut decals. I like to be able to take a section of the back off and set the decal where I want it without pulling the decal off six times. Because that's never a good thing. So now it's got the four wheel drive on the bottom. So that kind of works. So I'll need to cut one off of another, just pull one off of another sheet. There's another sheet right here. So I'll just take that one off. To the other side. So yeah, the older Kyosho kits, um, they're not pre-cut. The uh, vintage series ones are. There you go. Right, so I'm going to change the tires over. I think I'm going to do some tire writing in silver. Typically the Javelin does not have tire writing, but I think the silver may look good with the silver that's going on on the car. Um, worst case scenario, it doesn't look good and we just take it off. So we'll have to see. I hate pre-cut decals. Looks better with the off-road up there. Yeah, I think that looks good. I have my computer up because I, I was Google searching yellow javelins because I, I honestly was, have been really struggling with this. I like the yellow, but I didn't know what I didn't know how to decal it. Um, in my I couldn't get a vision in my head of what what I thought would look good. Um, so I think this works. I honestly do. You'll have to tell me in the comments what you think. Do you think it works? Do you think that it should have black wheels on it? I don't know that the black wheels would make it look any better. Um, you have to remember that even if you did carbon and you went to like a black 
like a straight up black one. This piece is black, I mean silver, that's going to stay silver. The, the bars, the chassis bars underneath would stay silver. The metal um, motor guard would stay silver. So there would still be a fair amount of silver alloy showing on the car, even if you went to carbon fiber. Um, the carbon fiber radio plate would probably look epic, but as soon as you put a driver in there, it covers almost the whole thing up. So... It is what it is. I think I'm going to keep it like that. Uh, I am really excited to run this thing. It's going to be awesome. So yeah, let me uh, get the driver figure done. Get these tires swapped over so that you can see it with the silver tire writing. I got to get some radio gear in it. And uh, I want to try to run it in this video as well. So, a lot to do. I'll bring you back in a minute. Well, it's been a few days... You can see the car completely ripped apart. My diff cups come, came in. So, I don't know, sometimes I don't think and I just hit buy it now. So I saw, I saw a diff package for the Javelin and hit buy it now. And then I went to assemble it, thinking I could just assemble the whole diff and swap it without actually opening it up. And uh, I bought a rear diff. Not that that matters because the cup itself is the same. You can see the hole right where is it? I just had it so that you could see the screen through it right there. So that hole is not drilled on this one. Right, it's just solid. So because of that, Kyosho, I need to rip this diff completely apart and change it before I can really run it. So that's essentially what I'm doing here. But in order to get this diff out, this is what I had to do to the entire car. Basically, you're ripping the entire car apart which is a huge pain but what are you gonna do and Glenn's uh, turbo Optima build there was the rear hinge pins were missing for the rear arms I would have rather have had that because <laughs> you can fix that pretty easily without disassembling the entire car I'm still on the fence here. Um, I've been thinking about it over the past few days on whether or not to stick this carbon kit in and go with the black wheels and just embrace that bumblebee look. And I was talking to Caleb and I was actually talking about the leftover alloy that would show. So the roof cage, the rear motor guard, the chassis rails, the roof on the actual cage itself, the body cage, and the front, the front brace that's alloy of painting all of that matte black. I was thinking about painting all of it matte black. Um, and, and actually doing like a real bumblebee style livery on it. Let's see if we can get that to stay like that. Here we go with the grease. So, there's a... so yeah, I was thinking about painting all of that black, but that's a lot of work. That's disassembling almost the entire car again. And then if I don't like it in the end, 
um, you kind of stuck with it at that point where you're buying all new alloy parts so I think I'm just gonna leave it alone I've been looking at it over the past few days and I, I like the alloy look um, I had bought and I've got two of those carbon kits one was for my vintage series Optima that I'm gonna build and the other one was for this car but I don't think I'm gonna use it <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna leave it alone do the driver figure do a running video with the uh, silver silver wheels and re retires and then bring it back in do a quick cleanup on it switch over to the OT 30s do the silver tire writing and call it a day so let me finish putting this diff back together and getting this car put back together and uh, and hopefully I can bring you back here with running gear in it and uh, we'll be ready to give her a shakedown so we'll see you in a second all right so I've been working away here I got that front diff sorted out um, got the car put back together and I figured while I had it apart I would finish the electrics so I put the 240 ST Le Mans motor in that I had in the Optima mid custom special I did oil the bearings I remember when I put that in for the first time it was making some noise and I had a, a couple of commenters say oil the bearings um, I don't know why I was such an idiot and didn't think of that myself, but uh, it kind of so sorted itself out just with running, but I did just put some bearing oil in those bearings. At some point, I'll take that motor apart and clean it. But uh, it's just a motor that came in a car, so I'm not really concerned about it, to be completely honest. If, if I was to blow it up, it, I wouldn't really care. <laughs> but at some point, I'll take it apart and clean it just for the sake of it. So... I just finished getting the electrics in. I just set the endpoints on the actual steering. I'll uh, try to give you the best view I can here. So the steering's good. Um, throttle. It's got that infamous chain drive sound. It's definitely not the gear mesh. Um, I can fit a piece of paper in between the gears. So yeah, everything looks good. The slipper clutch might need to be adjusted when we get out there, but we'll find that out. All right now I've got it set to the stock, um, to the to the stock settings. Just feeling that motor. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'm going to, uh, I got to finish the body figure and then get this car assembled and I'll bring you outside. We'll see you in a second. All right, so we're out this morning with the Javelin. Just giving a little shakedown. Looks good in the sun with the yellow. This is running on 2S. And I believe it's got the 240 ST motor in it. Let me just look. Yeah, 240 ST motor in it. So this is the same motor we had in the custom special. All right, let's bring this to location number two. We'll get it on the dirt. So we're at location number two with the Javelin. 
Riri. So I've got plans for this car. When we bring this car back, it's getting a new chassis and it's getting all new aluminum and it's going carbon fiber. So you're gonna see another video on this car. It's like riding on a blanket of air with those Riri tires. They're so soft with the foams. Runs great though. This will probably stay a runner because I have an original Javelin. You'll have to excuse my steering. My steering is set up in reverse right now for some reason. But if I change it, it changes the steering parameters. So I'm trying to run it. It's like running a John Deere or a cat excavator with John Deere controls. <laughs> for those of you that are in the dirt industry, you'll know what I'm talking about. Everything is backwards, but we'll get through it. So yeah, I have an original Javelin that's in black and uh, that's kind of my shelfer. So this is gonna be a runner, but I still wanna make it look as cool as I can. So it's going carbon fiber and then all the aluminum is getting painted satin black. And it's getting a set of OT30s with black wheels. But that's going to be for another video. We're going to completely change the look of this car. We're going Bumblebee, baby. But yeah, this car rips. Awesome. And this is chain drive. I can imagine what the Optima must have been like back in 84. There we go. Well, that's gonna do it for the javelin. We'll see you back in the shop, in the studio, and we'll talk about what's next. So I hope you guys liked the running video of the javelin um, and getting it all decaled up in the yellow with the yellow body on it. I think it looks good, um, but there's gonna be a part two or a part three. I don't even know where we are with this video series. All the aluminum on the car is going black, including the chassis rails, and it's going complete carbon fiber. So all black alloy with carbon fiber, and we're going to the OT30s with the black wheels in the next video. This car ran absolutely awesome, and I expected it to. I did have one issue. I don't know what happened when I did the setup on the car, but somehow this, this, the servo ended up reversed. Um... So right was left and left was right on my controller. And I mentioned that when I was running it. So I thought I could just reverse the servo in the settings. And when I did that, it, it changed the geometry of the steering. It automatically kicked it one way and I couldn't trim it back. And I had no steering in one direction. I had full steer in the other. So I don't know what happened when I did the setup. I definitely centered the servo when I put it in there. But somehow I screwed something up. And uh, I had full steering I just didn't realize that I was opposite when I was on the bench um until I got it out there running and I was like what am I doing you know and then it clicked I'm like oh the steering is backwards so yeah that's gonna uh that's gonna wrap up this video I mean even even with the steering backwards it, this is a, this is gonna be a runner car for me um I have an original javelin that's in full black um that at some point will get restored that one is my shelfer this one is my runner um, but I really want to try to make this yellow look as good as possible. I do have, like I showed you before, the green body set, but I don't want to show a green body on camera because too many people have done it. And I haven't seen too many yellow ones pulled off, um, either in pictures on the internet or on YouTube. 
So we're going to go down this black and this bumblebee road where we're going to change this thing all to black, stealth it out with the yellow cage and the carbon fiber. Let's see how that looks. So if you're not already subscribed and have your notifications turned on, make sure you do so so you don't miss that part three video. Part three? Yeah, part three video. Um, and until then, we'll see you soon. Thanks. Yeah.